Today we will be reading a book called Musical Max by Robert Krauss. Max was musical. You name the instrument and Max could play it. Trombone, bass, xylophone, flute. Max played by note and Max played by ear. And Max practiced and practiced and practiced. The small harmonica, the cymbals, the synthesizer. Max practicing is driving me crazy, said Max's father. I'm getting tune deaf. Practice makes perfect, said Max's mother. Here, put on some earmuffs. It will muffle the sound. It doesn't muffle enough, said Max's father. Oh, for a child without talent. From your side, maybe. From my side, impossible, said Max's mother. But it wasn't only Max's father. The whole neighborhood complained. We can't stand the noise, they said. It's not noise, said Max's mother. It's music. Call it what you like, they said. It's bursting our eardrums. Max practicing was not unaware of the complaints, but he kept on practicing. Music hath charms, he sighed, but not for them. Violin, bagpipes, tuba, bongos, harp, triangle, piano. Only at night was there a little peace and quiet, except when Max's father snored. That was like thunder and lightning. And except when the whole neighborhood snored, that was like explosions. Sometimes the snoring woke Max up. Then he would begin to practice, which woke the snorers up. But it didn't happen too often, thank goodness. But what did happen was that one day, Max stopped playing and practicing. He put all of his instruments away. I'm not in the mood anymore, he said, and he went out and played baseball with the gang. At first, everyone was relieved. The peace and quiet, it's wonderful, said the neighbor. Max's father took off his earmuffs. Max's mother was sad, but she was a minority of one. When will you play again? asked Max's mother. When I'm in the mood, said Max, and no one knows when that will be. It wasn't in the fall. Max's father complained that the peace and quiet was driving him crazy. When would Max get in the mood? It wasn't in the winter. The whole neighborhood complained that the peace and quiet was driving them crazy. When would Max get in the mood? In the spring, Max heard a little bird sing. And Max got in the mood. Max played and Max practiced and nobody complained. In fact, they all joined in. The end. Hope you enjoyed our first musical story called Musical Max. Please stay tuned. We will have some more videos coming of different musical stories. Thank you.